Was that entirely necessary? You will call Hoperim? My brother? I. He was a staunch ally in a fight. Why? Nothing. Only the brother and sister just now. Put me in my mind of put me in mind of him and you. for missing a week from the stream side of things um a couple weeks one of them was planned for the one for mr and games done quick and then the other one was um that was just me being very worn out tired and not being up to streaming so where we last left off uh we had basically um gotten a new party member to ally with us. Um, and completed a quest to basically, well, it's not ally, but made sure that the, that Lotus was not going to get in the way of this. Um, Warren report is a quick refresher. Yep, so we saved um, Justina from a uh, game of rescue in battle. Um, and we basically didn't, we didn't necessarily hit it off because, um, long story short, she is from a general position of political privilege and we aren't. And she was. Un like, while we have some common ground, we weren't necessarily able to come to terms on that front in terms of what common ground we have, due to her kind of not recognizing the position of privilege that she is trying to get back to, as opposed to the Wallister, who were kind of have always been some a degree of downtrodden minority. Testing the wireless mode on the controller. And then we point we went to the Champion of the Dark Knights, who, by the way, is responsible for um, deaths of our protagonist's parents. And we basically got a neutrality pact with them for now. They could absolutely down the road screw us over. Um, other notes. So we have a quick conversations going on in the background. Confirmation on the Liberation Front. The Liberation Front is made up of backroom partisans loyal to the late King Gorguala. Gorguala. Although they promote equality regardless of ethnicity or religious beliefs, their violent tactics have been called into question following another of civilian deaths. Front leader Caria, um, Caria Corina vehemently denies any part of these killings. She said she is mere, this is merely propaganda targeted at discrediting their cause. We can't say one way or the other firsthand yet on that. And that's just describing our mission that we just completed and we need to report in on. Notes, more information on Vice. More of the characters. We've encountered this far already. Erdwin. Those are the two members of the mercenary group with um, Canopus and Holy Knight Lancelot. This is Sestina, who we met earlier. We get her full name, Sestina Forenena. Dark Knight, that's what we met before. Lancelot Tartaros. 
and his number two, Balzafong. And... Okay. So now... We need to report Ian. Back to Market Castle. You set aside your own enmity for the greater Wallister good. Such loyal service will not be forgotten. With the time would afford you more rest, but I must ask you to leave for a ball Balma Musa at once. Musa, that allows us in the territory that the Galgastani allotted for Wallister rule, though. No? Wallister rule, hm. Camps where people are forced to live in squalor. A mining town, once. Coal. Now our kinsmen are herded there like cattle. Some 5,000 labor in Balma Musa. Slaves in all but name. The condition of the horrific world is beyond words. Scores die by the day. It falls to us to free them. And you could never free 500, let alone 5,000. No, you are to incite them to revolt. I mean, 5,000 fall strong, there for the taking. In truth, we cannot stay our hopes, horse and hope for victory. We are far outmatched. However, slight, we must tip our scales in our favor before Galgastan strikes. If all goes well, our bid will widen the rift between Balbatos and his enemies at home. We can scarce dispatch your troops here before silencing the cries of dissent within his own ranks. Can't let such chance escape us. For those in Mama Musa with no stomach for fighting, and others who would sooner leave things as they are. Your task will be to win them to our cause. Were we fighting, else they would rally more readily. I think it would be better to wake their slumbering heroism than young heroes such as yourselves. I shall the head of a separate file bearing arms for them. I'll only hold the lands west of Tidemouth. Fame Ravnus will go there with you in support. The sword is yours. Much rest in your shunk shoulders. I pay for, pay for your soap return. I need to check this. Something on my end real quick. I am quick reminder for those who are watching this separately. Uh, or for the first time. Counting you, Lenar, do not fail me. Don't worry, our plans proceed apace. I am operating off of the, bun the strategy guide. Ravnus joined the party as a guest. So, there's a big decision point coming up, and I need to check to make sure when it is. So, this is the point where the guide recommends taking on Quadrant Fortress. And then we also have... And then we have the decision point. So... Okay, so the big split. So we've got these two before about Musa, and then also we have Quadriga Fortress. So it uh, looks like what I'll try to do here is do these three, and then before I start Balma Musa. I will just wrap there. And I will put that to a vote on the RPG net thread. Um, in, um, Um, I'm let's play thread. Cover things from there. Um, in the meantime, though, we have a new party member. Ravnus, who could become a permanent party member later on. Uh, her class is Valkyrie. Which means, I believe, I now actually have access to... So, I don't have... So, it's don't have any points for it, but I now have the class in my... Um in my index at that level. So, um, what do you have for skills? 
Zero points. Okay, we have spears, divine magic, rampant aura, and counterattack. Uh, armored aura, that's basically the uh, tank lock down enemies who walk past you. Counterattack is smack them when they hit you. Dodge is melee avoidance and fortify. But basically, she is a tank. A tank who is also a healer. And what spells does she have? She has spirit surge and heal. Alright, um, bunch of cash. Arcana, um, exorcism. Buy the spell and see if she can use it. I don't think so. I think I'm seeing... I think that's Valkyrie there. I think this is Valkyrie right there. Um, so I can't say for certain that that will get us... we need there. Or rather, rather that should be able to equip it because we want her to have that um, spell if she can. Got heal. Nope, she cannot use it. Darn. Uh, it would be nice if she could. Um... Oh, it was Rune Fencer I was looking at, not, um, come on. Alright, so it looks like everyone who can equip Exorcism has it right now. Okay. What I want to do is have Exorcism ready... Before we do that boss fight, they lance a lot. Ah, Denim, track me down, did you? The guild has told me I'd try. I'd find you here. You have. Please come closer. You look troubled. This business in Balmus Balmusa disturbs you. Suing ourselves will be a dangerous undertaking. Are you frightened? That's not like you. I'm not frightened. There's no shame in being fear. We are all afraid at one time or another. Even you? More times than I can count. The first ring of steel, my hands tremble with it. The fear alone cannot kill you. It has no teeth. Strange. 
I tell myself I've got the diver a cause. When faced with death, the fear is all too real. Risking your life is one thing. Using it is another. The best way to aid your people is to stay alive. See the battle through to the end. And there's your sister to think of. What about you? Would you die to save the, one you, save the ones you love? What's that? Music box. Belong to my wife. Your wife? It's been four, five years now, before the war with the Empire. We had already begun their advance and we had fled, vagrants in our own land. My wife fell ill, and before I knew it, she was gone. I considered following her into death, and my thoughts often strayed down that path before battle. But the music box still sang of, li sang of life, and I knew it was not my time. My burden had not yet reached its end. I'm sorry. One young, young as you should never be forced to fight, but that's not the world we live in. Okay. Dialogue bit there. Made my game one more time. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. 